Your power grid, just like your conveyor belts, can turn into a huge mess real quick if you don't consciously try to keep it in line. And once it does, not only is it ugly to look at, it can also impact gameplay by making it harder for you to troubleshoot or modify your builds. But on the flip side, positioning all your power poles in some really strict, specific pattern can take a lot of time, which might not scale very well. In this video, I'll show you two different ways that I use to route power throughout my builds while keeping everything clean looking and easy to manage. The most basic thing you can do to tidy up your power lines is to create a raised platform using foundations, put a bunch of power poles on top of it, and connect all nearby machines to the poles on that platform. Don't be afraid to make the platform tall. Anything taller than 3 meters you're not going to be able to jump on without blade runners, but you can easily use a lookout tower to gain height over the platform and edit your power grid from above, with a clean top-down view. So there's no reason why you need to get on top of it anyway. I recommend using a separate platform for different sections of your factory. For example, here I have a platform for all the machines working on the copper node another one for the machines working on the iron node, one more for the machines working on the other iron node over there, and the last one for my biomass burners. This keeps power lines inside each section short. You only have long cables going between sections to link everything together and form the grid. The fact that the cables going between sections are much longer than the rest also makes it very easy to identify and remove those cables if you would like to shut down a section of the factory to temporarily avoid blowing up the fuse until you can expand your power production. Aesthetically, it's not perfect, but it is still an improvement over having random poles and cables running all over the place. At the very least, the fact that the poles are so high up prevents cables from clipping through machines. The sides of the platform look slightly ugly and out of place, but you can cover it up with walls or change the foundation aesthetics using the customizer. You can even use other build pieces from the awesome shop like pillars or beams to further improve aesthetics and save space. I typically use raised platforms on my starter factories or temporary factories because they're disorderly and it's the only thing that really works. But for my more structured builds, I like to route power a different way and that is by running power over splitters and mergers. If you haven't figured this out already, you can actually put power poles on buildings in this this game. You cannot do this by selecting the power pole and placing it, but if you start with a connection to something else, you can put the pole on some buildings, like storage containers or splitters and mergers. You can place Mark II and Mark III poles on top of buildings as well. Just do this first to get a Mark I pole and then upgrade the pole. Being able to put poles on top of splitters and mergers is actually super helpful, because if you think about it, they are the perfect mounting platform for power power poles. They're close to the machines, they're tall enough to elevate the poles to prevent clipping, and putting poles on top of them prevents them from interfering with belts. In terms of appearance, they also don't look that out of place when you do this. I do wish there was a snap point in the center for power poles, but that's not really even needed for this to look pretty good. That's it guys, if you watched this far into the video, consider leaving a like, and also maybe a comment letting me know if these tips helped you or if you have any feedback about the video that I need to hear. You can also subscribe and check out these videos if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, have a great day.